Good morning, kindergarten students. I am Gerald Berenstein, reporter for the Sun Valley News, here to interview Mabel the Elephant, who is a Room 5 super writer. So, Mabel, I've been told that you are learning how to write in ways to change the world. Is this true? Very interesting. And tell me, how does this type of writing differ from other stories that you've written this year? Well, opinion writing means that we tell what we think. It's not a true story about ourself, and it's not explaining how to do something. We're telling what we think, and we're trying to convince other people to join us in thinking that way. Oh, I see. Very interesting. So you're writing to change the world. You tell what you think, and you try to convince others to join you in that type of thinking. Okay, so can you give me some tips for how to write a story, um, how to write something that will convince people to help you? I'd like to take some notes for our newspaper. She's thinking. Can you think of some things that you've learned about how to write a good opinion piece? What are you supposed to include in your opinion writing? Let's all think while Mabel is. Mm, she's being very thoughtful. Hmm. Oh, Mabel's saying, I do remember some things, but we also have these class charts to help us remember. All right, well, tell me, what is the first thing? Well, the first thing is you tell what you think and you give reasons why you think that. Oh, very interesting. Did you remember those? I better write this down. Tell what you think and give reasons why you think that. Oh, this will be great for my newspaper article. Are there other things you should do in opinion writing? She's got more. Let's find out. What else is there? Be polite. Say please and thank you. Show you care a lot. And give information about what you're writing about. Hmm. Okay, let me see. I got to get all these things down. So be polite. Say please and thank you. What a polite little elephant. And um, show you care a lot. Give information about what you're writing about. Hmm. Those last two, I'm not sure that I understand. Show you care a lot and give information about what you're writing about. Hmm. Do you have an example? Have you written something that you could share with us? Great. She has something she can share. It looks like it's a book about helping the environment. It says on page one, do not, oh wow, I know she's serious, capitals and underline, do not cut trees. No. Okay, well I guess that's our opinion. So now I bet our next pages will show reasons, information, and that she cares. I will be sad if you do. Well, that looks like one sad elephant to me in the picture. And I see a speech bubble saying no. And tree branches on the ground. Hmm. I'm starting to think she cares a lot if she's going to cry. Trees are beautiful. Well, that's true. That's a reason to not cut something down. Hmm. I'm starting to really agree with Mabel's line of thinking. 
trees are beautiful and plus I don't want to make this sweet little elephant sad. She's got even more. A tree can give shade. Oh, so she's protected from the sun down here and she's saying this is nice. Oops, Mabel, I think you made a mistake. You wrote this in nice. I'll fix that. It should be I-S. This is nice. It's true. Trees do give shade on a very hot day. I'm always thankful for that. Jeez, she really cares. She has even another page. A tree makes air clean. That's true. The leaves take in our old air and clean it and put it back up for us to breathe. Look at all these happy people breathing clean air by the tree. Oh, and then I think this is her last page. Very polite. Thank you. Wow. Well, I can see now that what she was talking about. And here's the class charts she mentioned. You see a problem, you think about it, and then you write. You show you care a lot. So I also interviewed Miss Werner, and let me check my notes about what she said. Ah, oh, she said that you're allowed to make posters, signs, books, letters, petitions. That's cool. So you can write it however you want. It could be a speech. And then here's another class chart Mabel showed. It says we can be really convincing. We tell our opinion. We give lots of reasons. We give a fix-it idea, we be polite, and we make our words stand out. Well, I have this example here from Miss Werner. Maybe we could help her by taking one of Mabel's ideas that's missing here. Do not throw garbage at the ground. The Earth will be gross. Garbage stinks. What's that you say? Oh, that's good information to give. You see, Mabel, she's an elephant and an elephant is an animal. And sometimes when animals are out in nature and they see garbage, they think, ooh, that looks neat. I've never seen something like that before. And they go over and they eat it. And what do you think happens to their belly? They get sick. Do you think that if Miss Werner put in here, animals can get sick, that would help convince people to not throw garbage on the ground? I do. It's giving extra information. I will take this back to Miss Werner with my report from this fabulous interview with Mabel. And before I sign off, I want to remind you from the classroom of Miss Werner to keep on writing to convince people. If you finish one problem, you can get a new piece of paper and start a new one. Hats off to you, writers in room five. Way to go, Mabel.